Hey, so today I wanted to show you a awesome, cool new feature in um, .NET 8 in the latest preview as of this recording of Visual Studio 2022. This is one of those things that we've been kind of working with as .NET developers for a very long time, where you have a scenario like this, you have a front end um, and a back end. And you typically run them together, two different projects concurrently, because the front end will call the API, right? This is a kind of a typical setup these days. Um, if it's client and server, if it's not all server, um, it's all API kind of thing, which is uh, kind of where .NET 8 is really. If you set up a server at the front, on the front end, it could be your front end, back end um, kind of thing. But in this scenario, this is like a Angular, Vue, React, um, Blazor, WASM or WebAssembly front end and calling an API, which is a different server. So typically as developers, we would do things like this. We would say manage um, set startup projects, uh, configure startup projects. And then you would say something like uh, multiple startup projects. Um, and you would basically move like maybe the API would be up. You would say start and then you would say start. It's interesting though, at the time of this recording, I'm on the, is this the preview? Let's see, um, about, no, this is the non-preview. Okay, you see how we have this and then that. So I'm just gonna click cancel and then I'm gonna head over to the preview. Now, when you Google this, or my, my friend Googled it and we couldn't actually find um, any information on Google about this, so it, it could be like somewhere on a GitHub, it was planned. Um, I'm not necessarily saying it's a leaked release or anything like that, but kind of had to play with it to figure out all of its capabilities. So if I just come here, and this is the same thing. Now, if I go over here and say, um, where is it? Configure startup projects. You'll notice here that it's a little bit different interface, right? So I'm gonna say multiple and for some reason, it's not actually here, these different projects, but oh yeah, when you add them. So I'm gonna say new profile and I'm gonna rename it. I will rename and I'll say, this will be like a solution profile. Okay, and then I'm gonna say for the solution one, I'm gonna st start the front end and it'll be the HTTPS debug tar target. I'm gonna start the API and we'll say HTTPS. I'm going to move the API up. Not as if in this case it matters too much, but theoretically it's, um, you know, the API might start before the, um, uh, the front end, which could be good if you're, you know, getting some data and you need the API to be warmed up right away or certain scenarios. It's just could be an old habit of mine that just, um, I do. So then this is the option that I'm talking about with this video, right? So if I hit share profile, and click OK. So we don't know, like nothing really changed or whatever, but if we go here and we say add existing item, and we have this thing called the uh, SLN launch file. Okay, so I'm just going to add this as a solution item because, you know, if there's any black magic behind the scenes of like these files that get added, like uh, get, ignore, or any of that stuff. I like to add them to these solution items so that you can actually see um, them instead of like just assuming that, oh, why is all this stuff always working? Things like directory.build.props and directory.packages.props, all of those things, uh, global JSON uh, for the .NET SDK version. It's good to throw them in here. Um, these are like links, meaning that if you actually looked at the code in the SLN file, it just kind of links to them. It doesn't actually physically put them in a solution items um, folder, which I believe there is a way you can do that because you can do things like, you know, add new folder. I'm not sure, like I haven't gone down that route, but check this out. So the solution, the thing we named um, and the projects, right? And I did go ahead and try to say, hey, can I add multiple, right? And if I say solution two and then go save, it actually didn't really let you pick that, right? So it may be in the future it'll come, um, but for now it's a way of like checking into source control to have a default multiple 
uh, project startup in code because typically you'd have to, you know, work with someone new, like a junior or intermediate developer to say, hey, this is how you set up the project and how you would set your mul multiple startup projects. And then, so that's in there. It doesn't have to be, um, but it's nice to see them there because, um, you know, you could actually make changes and without kind of going to the folder and whatnot. I mean, it's still in source control, so to speak, because it's, you know, in that folder, but you know, again, I, I explained why I like to have it here. It could be useful to you to like bring stuff into solution items. So you know what you're working with for that solution. So now if I basically go to start, it's going to start the multiple startup projects. Advanced, I don't know why Firefox is like this. Um, accept risk and continue. There's my API. We're waiting for the other one. There's the front end, right? So yeah, so pretty easy to get going. All you have to do is just get the preview. And I'm not sure if it'll work in the non-preview version of VS Visual Studio 2022, but yeah, you right click the solution and then you would go to um, configure startup projects. And here you can rename it. It doesn't really matter too much because you, if you add it in another one, it's not really a way to select it yet, but you can tell that that would be coming in the future. So I think these things are great. The sln.launch file, um, you can start using it right now today. Um, whether they remove it from the Visual Studio 2022 preview or not, pretty easy to get set up with a file like this. Put it at the root of your project and it should pick that. And you see how it puts the action, right? So the action could be essentially, you know, run, run solution. And I'm not sure if that would be something that'll work. You might have to close and open it, but it, you know, the idea would be it would put the word um, run solution. But for now, that's how it wires it. Um, and yeah, pretty cool. Um, add these to your repo to make it easier for new uh, novice and to intermediate developers or just anyone that's new to a project that they haven't used before get up and running in no time with the um, SLN launch um, file extension type. And yeah, awesome. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care.